Hello my soccer universe. Well, A, the obvious one, my glasses need repairing because they broke a little bit so I'm gonna do this now without glasses. Looks weird a little bit but yeah. So it goes and yeah since I have only three teams that are left in the Europa League where I have jerseys, Sevilla, United and Inter, every time I take one jersey down it I have to rearrange all kinds of stuff here and now I had to pull one in, or well, actually two in that I have that have been in the Europa League. I want to really make this now. The entire Europa League wall of Napoli has been retired and yeah there are some eliminated teams which might get changed uh, somewhere or another to relatively soon. Anyway, let's talk about yesterday's games. Um, there was, and let's start with the big one, I'm wearing Inter's, uh, you know, already know the result, Inter moves on 2-1 over Bayer Leverkusen. And I have to say, uh, it was not a, but the result is much closer than the game was. Uh, in the first half, I think only towards the end, Leverkusen got a little bit into the game, but that Inter only scored two goals was a little bit of a travesty on Inter's part. Um, the first goal came, there was an attack from the left to uh, over Lautaro, who had the ball then finds uh, Lukaku, who was this constant mismatch with uh, Ta in the center, who could roam freely. He takes a shot, it is blocked, it falls uh, towards the edge of the box to, uh, to Barella, who pokes it basically in from far out. I mean, goes through two defenders and the goalkeeper. Uh, was a Nicely taken shot, but uh, kind of a messy goal as well, because I really thought that in Lukaku should have already made and that everything else was a little bit... Mm -hmm. How did this happen? Uh, just a few minutes later, and this was... I don't want to say it was typically a Lukaku goal, but it was a great goal. Uh, the ball again f falls to Lukaku. Ashley Young plays it through him. He again wrestles with Ta and while falling... Uh, puts it in the internet. This was an absolutely great goal. Uh, he should have had a big counter-attacking chance where he could have made it 3-0. was not to be and suddenly in the 24th, Havertz with the first attack puts it in the internet. Handanovic didn't look all that great. But uh, if you thought that Leverkusen is coming, no, not really. There was more uh, from Inter who thought they got a penalty but think um, uh, Play, you know, played the ball more with his shoulders than with his hand. It was kind of the borderline decision. Var they looked at it, took it back. So it was not given. It was only 2-1 Inter. In the second half, Leverkusen comes out a little bit better. Has some chances, but it was again Inter who had the much better chances. And it was actually, it should have been 3, if not 4-1 for Inter. That's, this is how uh, the rations were. And uh, having seen Inter a few times during Serie A, this was exactly the type of game where Inter would then give up the goal and that was really i, I told him the way the games are going is that there will be another goal for leverkusen and, and this goes in overtime and the other game will go to overtime too uh another penalty given then for inter another one take taken back because barella was on, on the ground the ball hits his hand uh yeah cannot say much against uh, against it. Inter was not meant to make a third goal. But I have to say, of all the Italian teams uh, that have played, Inter looked the best so far. We have not seen Atalanta, but Atalanta towards the end of the season really looked tired and they're really missing Ilicic. Uh, Inter looking good and I think uh, they can be a threat. Did they look as impressive as Sevilla? No, they did not. Uh, speaking of the other favorite, I think many still see Manchester United as the top favorite, but um, yesterday against Copenhagen, that uh, the whole game was just plodding along. It was, yes, it was hot and so on, but Copenhagen was on more on the defense side. And, and, and I think if you're such a big outsider, it's always hard. How do you, you always want to feel first, how strong is your opponent? You play against a big name team. And maybe you waiting too long to attack because when Copenhagen attacked, it actually always felt it spelled danger for United. Um, not necessarily not big many shots sh shots and goal, but there were a few CSs. I think Copenhagen had a, if they played a little bit smarter, a little bit calm, they could have uh, made a goal. And they have an incredible record. I think they have only in. Uh, they they have for over a year or two uh, not considered more than one goal in European play. That is an amazing record, to to be honest. I thought that United will make two. I was wrong. United uh, was held to nil nil. Yes, they hit the post twice. I think in 
twice in regulation. Um, they had a goal disallowed, rightly so, for uh, offset by Greenwood. And then uh, Bruno Fernandes hits the post. Then there was another one where he hits the post, falls to Rashford, is flagged off for offside. And it was kind of, uh, despite Copenhagen, uh, especially then towards the end of the sec second half, uh, having some dangerous situations, United was ratcheting on the pressure and um, you had all, all the, the feeling they, they can do a little bit more and are just that teeny bit better than um, uh, Copenhagen. So um, that it went to overtime was probably also, I think United would have deserved a win in extra time, but uh, for the effort that Copenhagen put, put in, I think it was uh, nice to see them go to extra time. In extra time, very early, early on, um, I have to say a very soft penalty. They look at the VAR, but this was exactly a type of penalty decision that VAR will not take back, but if it's not given, VAR will not look at this as well. This is directly in this gray area. It was a very soft fall of Martial. Yes, there was contact, so what can you do? Um, and Bruno Fernandes steps up and puts it into the net. And that proved to be the difference. I didn't see much from Copenhagen. Maybe in the last five, ten minutes they tried. Uh, but Lindelof hit the bar uh, in the meantime. There was a period where United just held the ball and ground down uh, the Danes, who were really, really, uh, you, you could see this mentally taxing. Their goalkeeper uh, pulled out a bunch of great saves. He was probably the best man on the field. And yeah, in, in the end, there was one interesting situation where there was a free kick uh, close to the touchline, outside of the box, and everyone is lining up in the uh, in the, in the goalkeeper area. There are two um, Copenhagen players, free outside of the box. It was clear that the ball is going, going, going to them. You need to shoot immediately. You, the ball needs to be played and you have to yank it on, on the goal. Don't make a touch and try to shoot because everyone at United knew it. And there was actually a dangerous counter coming for it. But in the end, United avoids the penalty shootout and moves on. So we have now that uh, in the semifinal, Inter is waiting for the winner of uh, Schachter against Basel and United of the win, uh, for the winner against Wolves and Sevilla. And while I think there are many uh, English speaking that would like to see an English semifinal, I don't. I've seen United Wolves twice this season. It was both horrible games. I want to see United play Sevilla that we get at least a really interesting game. Let's see what Sevilla will do against Wolves tonight. Um, I'm going to post this now. Right now, uh, you will get tomorrow, probably later. Uh, the other video because I don't know when I will make me have kind of a busy schedule tomorrow so let's see how it goes. Let me know what you thought about the games, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these and I will talk to you soon, bye! Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.